So I've, uh, I've chosen my, my pages. There are my, here's my large paper bag. It's like cut in half or whatever. And this big square piece, it was, uh, folded up in half and used as layering in one of my uh, in one of my dresser drawers so that's what make it dizzy uh, that's what we're going to be using currently if you look you can see like it's a paper bag that I just cut open it's a pretty good size sheet for for one uh one bag. So now I'm going to go through these prints, these old prints. Uh, they were in the box. I'm going to give you a little bit better look at them. Uh, this is a metallic gold. It looks really cool, like in the sun. I don't know. I just I love metallic paints, and and. Uh, just metallic colors. I just, it, I guess, for some of them might seem kind of gaudy and tacky, like it's not. I don't know, your standard artistic medium, I guess. But I, I love it. I think it's fucking awesome. So this is one of the prints, leftover prints I had um, from this original design. It was my first, my first screen print attempt. And so these are just layers of this. And eventually I ended up taking out uh, both the top and the bottom and just having the Skultopus uh, in there, but the the frame was really used a lot because it was my first one and it's just really worn out. Um, I'll show it to you in a second. So I think I've decided to work on these a little bit more. They seem kind of unfinished, but I've come to appreciate unfinished work so I could use it later. This one kind of creeps me out because it's like flesh tony. Oh, you can kind of see that shimmer. Cool. It's like kind of flesh tone. It's real gross. I don't know. So I'm going to do something with those. Maybe with some watercolor and pen. Um, this one I ended up just using as a catch all after I had done a print on it. But I kind of like where it's going. I really dig this one. And I think you can really like uh, rotate these and, and show them any way you like with these layered screen prints I've done. I have two other ones in the living room that you you wouldn't even know that that's what it was unless you really looked at it like that's the image that it was but I, I dig them because you can like turn them any which way you want still and I think it gives you something new to look at uh, oh, let me show you that that uh, screen Ooh, look at this thing. Like, like this is, it's clear through. Like the, the image that's on there now is this girl. You can kind of see it. But the skull 
is like permanently inked into there because I, I used a, a screen blocker to do that. I like I hand painted that fucker. Man, that was something. I don't know if I ever uploaded that video. If I have it, I'll find it and upload it because I put so much effort. It, it took me like a day, a full day, more than a day, to block in, paint, trace the image onto the screen. And when I put the, the, the whatever the second coating is, the screen filler, like I did it wrong. It all washed away. It was a it was a horrible, horrible experience. And the next day, I did it, and a third of the time, because I was just like, "Screw this! I got to do it again." And boom, it was it was done, and I was happy with it. But from then is where I was like, you know, I want to. I should really do the emulsion stuff instead, because it gives it a better look. But I do. I do want to do more of the hand screen blocking whatever drawing directly onto the screen i think that's a cool technique i want to mess with more okay i'm getting hungry so oh this is what that was but i can't get it to look this clean i just i have to find a better way to to transfer that image onto there Alright, it's for real. Peace, peace out.